This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show and ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and the ushering in of the Antichrist. As most of you probably saw, I did a video about the opening ceremony at the Olympics. I had to sit through that nightmare. It was two and a half hours. I decided to again sit through the now closing ceremony for another two and a half hours. Actually, the opening was four plus hours and the closing ceremonies were two and a half hours. So I had to sit through that in its entirety. So that's why it took me a little bit longer to get this video out than I wanted to. I did not want to sit through it last night without being able to fast forward at least the commercials. So I did that because it's important to see the symbols that they use constantly, repetitively, over and over, so that people understand it is not a coincidence. When people watch these rituals, quote-unquote, or ceremonies, as they call them, they go into an alpha state. They see people running around dancing. They don't even know what they're watching. But if you actually step out of that trance and you look and you see, you will see the same repetitive symbols as they continue to condition the masses and indoctrinate them with these occult symbols. So the opening ceremony, I talked about global warming. That was part of their agenda. And here in the closing ceremonies, this was about symbols, 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 the same symbols we see over and over. Let's start with the cube symbolism. I, they did it in the first ceremony. They've done it. You know, they've been doing it constantly in music videos. Here again, we see Saturn's cube all over the place. They can't get enough of showing us Saturn's cube. The worship of the cube, the worship of Saturn's cube is a direct link to the worshiping of Satan. Okay, we see it all the time. I pointed out in, you know, Rihanna's music video, just random cubes popping up. Lady Gaga in the Intel commercial. The cube is everywhere. The cube, you'll see more than you'll see the pyramid. Potentially, you'll see it more than you'll see the all-seeing eye. Okay, it's, it's a bit complex in learning about the meaning behind Saturn's cube. And if you're somebody who's very interested in learning about it, I recommend you go to the channel Nicholson 1968. He has a lot of videos videos about Saturn's cube. A lot of other channels do as well. I'm not going to get into great detail about it because I have a long list of symbols that were going on at the Olympics that I want to go through. But we see this Saturn's cube symbolism. And I, like I said, Nicholson 1968 is a channel that will really explain that in great depth. He's got a lot of documentaries that he's made on Saturn's cube, but we see it all over the place all the time. And this is a direct link to worshiping Satan. And they show this symbol all over the opening ceremonies. There was cubes everywhere, stacking cubes, moving cubes. They did it again here. They had to light up the cubes. They did above shots from, you know, helicopter view, top of the stadium view, showing the cubes in a circle, the cubes moving around, just going on and on and on over and over this cube Saturn worship that they are indoctrinating everybody with. Then you see, you want to talk about more obvious symbolism. You see the pentagram right there in plain sight. You don't even have to really slow it down to see it. I mean, you could see it over and over in this scene where they were moving, you know, moving everything around and everything was kind of flashing. They kept showing the pentagram, okay? They showed it, then they pulled away, then they recreated the pentagram. You could see it right here, the pentagram. The pentagram obviously associated with black magic, Satanism, witchcraft, the occult, we see it all the time. We see the pentagram, obviously the upside down pentagram, which represents the Baphomet. We see that all the time on the, you know, the satanic temples, the satanic churches, showing you the, the pentagram in plain sight. We see them in trying to indoctrinate our children with pentagrams and doing this stuff. But then they say, no, 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 it's just a star. Yeah, it's just a star, you know, like the stars in the sky. That's why they got kids at a young age to start drawing the star like that. We go up, down, across, across, back, down. Okay, they were indoctrinating children then, even in my generation when I was young, indoctrinating us to, you know, draw up the pentagram. Okay, now they have kids doing it in these after-school Satan programs, doing upside-down pentagrams. They have the coloring books where they're indoctrinating them with this occult symbolism. So, of course, they're showing you the pentagram right out in plain sight there, but that must be a coincidence as well, right? Oh, it, it, was, it was just there flashing, but I wasn't... Nobody was supposed to pick up on it. We're not supposed to be observant of these things. You're too, uh, too crazy, too much of a conspiracy theory loon for actually seeing symbols. It's right there. It's right in our face. Okay, they're, they're obnoxious about it, they're over the top about it, and they don't hold back in showing us these symbols. Of course, you get the basic pyramid symbols, but a lot of diamonds they were showing here. And the diamond represents as above, so below. The diamond, obviously, if you take out the line underneath the, pier, the, uh, the pyramid, okay, you get the reflection of the top of the pyramid and the bottom of the pyramid. So you get the as above, so below you know, the, that's what the occult's all about, as above, so below, your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds, the balance in the universe, all this stuff that they believe with their Baphomet worship. 
And of course, it wouldn't be an Olympic ceremony without just nonstop sun worship. You know, they do it in every ceremony. You know, they have the eternal flame, which is obviously, a, you know, satanic in its own right. But just the sun worship over and over, they constantly would cut from whatever they were doing to just flash the sun in your face, flash the spinning sun. Okay, that's part of mind control. It's part of hypnosis. That's part of them conditioning people with sun worship. Sun worship goes back, you know, for a long, long time. These Satanists, these occultists have practiced sun worship. Okay, it's pagan. It's satanic. It's all of the above. And they wouldn't be flashing to it, you know, showing you this and then flashing to the sun and then showing you this and flashing to the sun unless they were conditioning you. And that's exactly what they are doing during these ceremonies. They are conditioning people. They are putting them under hypnosis. They're in an alpha state and they're just flashing their satanic symbols. They're flashing what they want you to start worshiping and what they want you to believe in, which is their belief system, which is their religion, quote unquote, which is the worship of Satan and all these symbols that they worship and use in occult practice. Then, of course, you get the giant circle. You see the giant circle. It's the ritual circle. Okay, we all know that when they practice these spells, they do it inside of a gigantic ritual circle. In the occult, it represents their boundary of power. Okay, uh, you know, we see it in the CERN commercial. We see it all the time. When they perform these rituals, they usually do it inside of a gigantic circle. There you have it right there. They did it numerous times, but this to me was the most obvious one. The entire circle was lit up in white, just like these Satanists do. They draw out their circle when they perform their rituals, wherever they are, underground, out in the woods. You know, if they do the sacrifice inside the circle or whatever they decide to do for that specific ritual, they do it inside of this ritual circle, which they feel protected inside of. It is a boundary of power for them. So you see that there. What a surprise, right? I mean, it's unbelievable. We see the X symbolism. They're constantly showing the X. The X represents the Antichrist. It stands for transformation. Okay, transformation is a common theme within the occult. You know, I, I talked about it with Rihanna in her anti diary video, which is an, just an anti Christ video. They were constantly talking about transformation. All of these musicians are pushing the word transformation because the transformation is what is to come. Okay, and that is the the transformation of going into the worshiping of the Antichrist. So the X is there for, you know, why else would these giant symbols be there? I mean, you're just telling me that the guy who wrote this script was like, let's make a giant X and another giant X. And the crowd will go, ooh, ah, an X. People are just sitting there eating popcorn. They don't even know what they're looking at. They're just like, oh, look at them moving around, holding up these weird, you know, parachutes over their heads or whatever they are. Okay, they're there deliberately, strategically. This isn't a, a creation of art. They aren't standing there when they write this out going, let's just, anybody like X? Is that your favorite letter in the alphabet? I love X. I love X rays. I love X's. X's are my favorite thing. Then let's draw X's. Yeah, let's do that. You know, these people are making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to produce this ceremony. Okay, there's no, there's no symbols in it that are coincidence. Nobody just said, X is my favorite letter, and then let's do a J, and let's do something else, right? We all love, these are, let's do this symbolism with our favorite letters and our favorite numbers. This is all strategically planned. This is all part of the conditioning. So you see the X's there moving around. I thought this symbol was pretty fascinating. I had to pause this and try to figure it out, you know, how it connected and how it looked. To me, it looked like it was 666 symbol. It's almost, in a sense, it looks like a swastika, but it, it looks... If you look closely, you can see sixes as well. You can see sixes going around th uh, three times if you look closely at it. Um, I know some people might say that's grasping for straws, but I was examining it for a little while. I thought it looked like a gigantic uh, 666, but the sixes are interlocking at different spots. I don't know how to video edit, so I can't, <laughs> as most of you probably know, I just talk and I put these images up. But I would try to point it out with a cursor or something like that, but I, I don't have any video editing skills, so I cannot do that. However, if you look for yourself, pause it and try to examine it, you'll see sixes there. You'll see three interlocking ones. In a sense, it reminds me of the CERN symbol, but it's not uh, circular. It's more squared off. Uh, but then again, some people might say it looks like a swastika. Uh, you could say that as well if you really take a deep look at it and watch how it interlocks and changes. Then we see, of course, we see a woman here. This is just random. We have this woman and this man just, you know, holding crystal balls, moving them around. You know, they're pretending like, oh, I'm rolling the ball around my arm. Okay, what does the crystal ball symbolize? Okay, we know what the crystal ball is used in and what it symbolizes. 
We've all been indoctrinated with the crystal ball since we were children. We see it over and over in Disney. We see it over and over associated with psychics, okay, which, you know, is satanic as it can get, being a psychic or practicing in that, practicing in sorcery. So we have the crystal ball, you know, randomly there. I guess somebody was just like, hey, do you have a talent? Yeah, I could roll this ball up and down my, like, you know, my from my hand to my shoulder. Whoa, cool. Of course, it's strategically there. I mean, it's not a coincidence when you see all of these symbols over and over. And trust me, when I went into watching this and I started, I said, you know, they're probably going to tone it down. There might not be anything to even talk about because they went so over the top in the first one with the, you know, global warming agenda, the, the cubes everywhere, the pyramids everywhere. But nope, you know, it didn't take long to see all these basic occultic symbols. You know, I mean, cube, pentagram, pyramids, diamonds, sun worship, you know, the X symbol, the giant circle, the ritual circle. You see the 666, the crystal ball. What else do you see? You see this really creepy image here of hands, children's handprints, which, you know, in its own right, is just creepy and disturbing, knowing the occult, okay, and knowing what they do with children and child sex trafficking, which I constantly talk about on this channel, which is the core of the occult, you know, is the ritual abuse of these children, whether it's for ritual blood sacrifice or pedophilia. You see these hands here, so instantly I just, it gives me, it just creeps me out seeing stuff like that, but it's not a coincidence that there's 23 hands. Now, in this screenshot, it might not be clear enough to count 23, but there's 23. It's just because my camera couldn't, uh, I couldn't get it all in in the frame, but there's 23 hands there. I've talked about the number 23, what, what it represents. Okay, they have the movie, the number 23 with Jim Carrey. I talked about that movie that's coming out, the M. Night Shyamalan movie, movie that's coming out that has 23 symbolism in it. The guy has 23 alter personalities. 23, okay, grandmasters in the Knights Templar, which is associated with the Baphomet and the occult. We had the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. The 23rd Path is associated with the, uh, you know, Aleister Crowley talks about how it represents the concept that the only way out is with is from within. And the number 23 links to a lot of major events that have occurred, in, you know, around the world. A lot of these events that they have planned themselves and gone through with. Number 23 is linked to a ton of things. If you want to look further into number 23, I recommend you do. You'll find it you know, related to tons of major world events that have occurred, that they have been behind, Okay, because numerology is a big thing with the occult, as all of you know. And these, these events that occur in these certain days, they all link back to these numbers and the numerology that they worship. We also see them do Christ the Redeemer, the, the false idol statue that they have that they claim, you know, represents Christ the Redeemer. They don't, they, they constantly were mentioning Christ on the broadcast when, they, when this was going on. They weren't saying Jesus Christ the Savior because Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. They were talking about Christ the Redeemer. Okay, this statue, a lot of people, uh, you know, it's a false idol for starters. A lot of people associate this statue with the Antichrist and not with Jesus Christ. But again, it's a false, you know, it's a, a false idol, a false image. And then I think the funniest part of all of watching this, you know, you see these symbols, I, I just get aggravated because it's the same thing over and over. And I'm at the point where I'm just worn out from all of it because it's just, it's just everywhere all the time. And it's like, you know, you try to beat it into people's heads and say, listen, this stuff is not a coincidence. It just gets frustrating after a while, just seeing it so blatantly obvious. You know, you see a blatantly obvious pentagrams, you see blatantly obvious cube symbolism, and nobody seems to care. They think that you know, these people just love cubes. Cubes are so much fun. Pyramids are so much fun. Everybody loves these shapes. I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. But this is to me, I actually got a laugh out of this. This is the most ridiculous part. They show they show some of the elitists there in their box seats, right? Oh, in their suits and ties, you know, their cult wear, because I always refer to suit and tie as cult wear, occultic wear, right? Because when somebody's wearing a suit and tie, you're not you don't look at them as being guilty or suspicious because they brainwashed everybody into, oh, he's a suit and tie, he's a businessman, he must be very wealthy. He can never be somebody involved in occultic practice. That has to be the guy who's wearing the black shirt or looks gothic like because everybody stereotypes this stuff. But then you have these Satanists up there, these elitist Satanists. You know, nobody knows who they are, but they stand up there and they're smirking. They stand up and they wave to every they wave to all the peasants out there, all of us that they look at as going. They just wave down at us. Oh yes, everybody applauds. They don't know who they are. Right? They don't know who these people are. They, oh yes, oh he's the head of the Olympic Committee. Let's all applaud as these people just dump chemtrails on us, as they poison our food, they just continue to kill us off and make a mockery out of us. Everybody just stands and applauds for the elitists up in their box seats. It's enough to make anybody sick to their stomachs. So this is the closing ceremonies of the Olympics. I hope nobody else had to sit through this. More, you know, this is just self-torture actually having to watch some of these things. It's such it really can be such a tedious nightmare. 
Okay, it's just uh, it's just over and over. It's so repetitive. It's so obvious. Uh, but I, you know, I have to point out. I feel it's important to point out. This channel exposes the new world order. Exposes the symbolism. Exposes that stuff. You know, that's the purpose behind this channel, so people can see what's really going on and snap out of the trance they're in and realize that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And all they should be doing is putting, you know, any type of worship should be going to God. It should not be going to me. It should not be going to this channel. It should not be going to any false idols out there. So I try to snap people out of this trance so they could say, wow, I was an atheist. Now I saw all these symbols and I've started to realize something is going on. Wow, I was an atheist. And I started to see how they are censoring Christianity, how Jesus Christ really is the truth. They don't want anyone to know that these people are really Satanists. Wow. Now I picked up my Bible. Now I'm following, you know, now I'm participating in Bible studies. Now I'm watching other channels that have Bible studies. Thanks for leading me there. That's what this channel is about. And that's it. Okay. I want to help people wake up from this trance that they're in and re- you know, find God if you haven't found him. Refine God if you've, you know, if you've strayed away, if you've got lukewarm in your faith, hopefully get hot again in your faith. I want to read the Bible every day. I want to pray every day because that's what this is all about. So Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Don't forget that. Okay, don't put any worship in any man. Don't put any worship in me or this channel. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel trying to show you this, these things. I have great discernment. I see these things, unfortunately, all the time. I can't do anything without seeing, you know, I, every time I, I try to have a day where I'm just like, I don't want to even, you know, I don't want to deal with this stuff. I just want to, you know, read scripture and maybe go outside or whatever. I still will. See, there's just something everywhere, whether something comes in the mail that has the symbols, you know, you go out to the mailbox, you're like, oh, what a wonderful day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to look for anything. Thing. I'm just going to relax, rest my mind, put myself at ease. And you open the mailbox and you just see, you know, something right on top of the mail that's got an all seeing eye or a pyramid or some type of occultic thing on it. I mean, it's really just everywhere. You can only really escape if you go out into the woods and do something out there, chop wood or whatever, but it's all over the place. And it, it, it does wear, it wears me out. It wears others out, but you know, don't let it wear you out. If you, if this stuff gets to be too much, you know, take some time off from the channel. Go read a Bi- go read your Bible. Listen to other channels that do Bible studies because this stuff can be a lot. I'm getting worn out by it myself right now, just from months on end of producing a lot of videos every day. You know, it just it wears me out, and I have very thick skin. I'm starting to get worn out from this whole YouTube experience and and looking at all this stuff and seeing it all the time. So if you're somebody out there who just gets worn out from it, you know. And I understand people write comments. They say, why can't you do more Bible studies and stuff like that? That's not what this channel is about. I'm not a minister. Okay. I can't, I'm not doing Bible studies here, but I'm telling you that there's other people out there that do Bible studies. Go listen to them. You know, go listen to them. I'm not the voice to do that. I use my discernment and I see these things and I help people wake up. But if it gets overwhelming, you know, just stop for a little while, take a break and, you know, come back when you feel better or don't come back. You know, it's up to you. But that's what this channel is about. So I'm going to continue to try to show you these symbols as I see them. I constantly, you know, I mean, they're everywhere. You know, you just know. It's just, it's like, all right, closing ceremonies, Olympics. Well, that's going to be filled with symbols, and here they are. So stay strong in your faith. You know, pick up the Bible. Read it for an hour or two. You know, just get get back into your faith. Get back into reading scripture. Okay, that's what's most important here. Thank you all for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your family. Stay strong in your faith. May peace be with you all.